good morning. It is Thursday, um, February 13. Tomorrow is Valentine's Day. Um, I st again started a video yesterday and did like, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes before I realized shit before I realized that uh, I had the aux cord plugged in and there was no sound so I am doing it again so I'm going very slow this morning because my back road last night was like solid ice and uh, looks like it's not much better today really hate having people behind me in these conditions because then I feel rushed and pushed. Um, and I'm in four-wheel drive and sliding all over the place. So I'm just going to let him go by because I want to be able to go slower. two of them. So, uh, I think I have a low back tire and that's not helping anything, but again, I forgot at the gas station to ask if they had air hose and yeah, so I have an hour to get where I'm going and I don't know how long these roads are going to make me take, but I'll pull over as many times as I have to if people keep rolling up behind me. Uh, so, cause I'm not going to end up in the dish and I ain't got time to deal with bullshit. So anyway, we are, as far as I know, still doing the plant-based diet thing, which is what I wanted to make the video about. Um, yesterday I was talking about, um, how we're going to make this work, um, already my husband was like feeling very frustrated and overwhelmed by, you know, well, you got to get the right everything and blah, blah, blah. And, uh, do you have time to grocery shop and cook? And I don't have time and blah, blah, blah. And I get it. Um, but like I told him, it's still better than the alternative to at least try. So, um, he had already bought quite a few groceries and, um, not so much on the vegetable end but more on the kind of additives end so we, you know things to add into dishes um so I went and went to Aldi and grabbed an arm full of vegetables uh cauliflower broccoli asparagus cilantro carrots Brussels sprouts I think that was it and uh My total was only $12, which is awesome, because that was the other thing. He was like, it's so expensive, and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, no, it's it's really not, because what you're mainly trying to do is to um, have the, the majority of your food be vegetables. Um, and then you have, you know, like, if you would normally have a big old steak... And a side of vegetables and a side of rice, um, you would switch that up where the vegetables is the, you know, kind of the main part of the plate and then some, you know, rice and beans or whatever, rice and vegetables, or not rice and vegetables, I said vegetables. Um, well, you get the idea. So... In thinking about how to do this since we do both work long hours and we're both tired a lot um, and th you know I had said yesterday that hopefully over time we won't be as tired as we start to um, acclimate to the diet we won't be as tired at all and it won't that part won't be an issue um, but uh, normally we grocery shop on the weekends and try to prepare and cook everything Saturday or Sunday which we're never organized enough to do, but we try. 
and uh, so I was thinking why not uh, why not have us like split it up and I'll go Wednesday nights after work and he can go Saturday um, and we can just split everything to twice a week you know make smaller smaller quick things but twice a week rather than um, once a week and try to do it all in one day because <clears throat> I usually end up only making one thing for the week and you know nobody wants to eat the same thing once or twice a day all week uh, so yeah so I didn't even cook any of the vegetables when I got home but I did the grocery shopping I brought it home and then I washed and cut everything and put it into containers. And then I figured tonight, um, I mean, he could choose to do something with it when he gets home last night. Or he could choose um, to do something with it tonight. Or I can do something when I get home um, to cook some of it. Uh, and, you know, maybe some, some couscous or tabbouleh or whatever that he bought. Um, and then we can go from there, but there's no reason not to like layer it and just, if we can plan it out well enough, just do a little, you know, not every day, but a couple of times a week, do a little and have it in the fridge. Um, I think that's totally doable because what's beautiful about the vegetables, I don't know, I don't think he likes vegetables raw so much. Um, he likes his vegetables cooked to mush. I like my vegetables cooked al dente. So that's always been an argument in our house because I like my vegetables al dente. And, uh, he doesn't. But, you know, now he's a little more concerned about how they're prepared. And so, if I explain to him that, um, cooking them to mush absolutely is more likely to zap the nutrients out of them. Uh, maybe I can get him to come over to the al dente side. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, by the way, it is negative 17 degrees outside right now. And I got a wind chill advisory on my phone last night uh, for potential uh, wind chill factors of between negative 40 below zero and negative 50 below zero. So, yay. Welcome to Minnesota. Um, I don't know what the wind chill factor is right now, but I know that when I got gas a little bit ago, touching the metal on the pump, like, instantly hurt my fingertips. Um, and my coffee cup is metal, so touching that also hurt my fingertips. Um, so yeah, it's pretty fucking cold out there. Uh, which is what has caused, because it didn't snow in the last 48 hours... So that's what's caused literally the winds and the moisture in the air is what has caused the roads to be like solid ice in spots. Um, so my road that was fine yesterday when I went to work, there was no snow or mist or fog or anything, but on my way home was like a sheet of ice two thirds of the way. And I was doing 25 to 30 miles an hour um, most of the way home. Or half of the way home, because half the way home is back roads. Um, so, yeah. A couple cars in the ditch on my way home. Uh, my husband had said that on his way out for work, he saw two rollovers. So, yeah, it's, it's a dangerous, curvy road, and people get too cocky and confident. Um, yeah, see right there? I wasn't even touching the gas pedal, and my engine was... Um, my engine changed RPMs on the ice. As soon as I hit it, I can feel I have no traction. Um, so, yeah. Got cars coming up behind me again. I might have to pull over again. So, sorry this is so just disjointed. Um, also, off topic, um, is I'm on my way to a seminar um, for work. So I had to get up early and leave early. And that hopefully that, that means I'll leave my... Um, huh. That means 
I'll leave work early today, but I just wondered, am I getting paid to be at this thing? Hmm, I hadn't thought about that. I probably am. So I could definitely leave early from work today. Well, not early, but earlier than I do. I usually leave about 6.30. I could probably leave much earlier than that. Right at 4.30 when my trainees leave. Um, anyway. Oh, so. Yeah, and then I came across a... On YouTube, I came across a guy. Um, he's in the UK. That much I know. I haven't really looked at his name. But, you know, he stated like... Keep it simple. Don't overcomplicate it um, when you're trying to switch to this kind of diet because that's going to overwhelm you really quick um, and cause you to overthink it and cause you to abandon it, you know, rather than keeping it really simple and taking it a little at a time. Um, you don't, you don't have to, it doesn't have to be perfect ever, really. Um, but it definitely doesn't have to be even close to perfect right away. Um, it's, it's adding those things in little by little, kind of in layers, and um, knowing that every, every meal you have is not going to be perfectly balanced, and it doesn't have to be, um, which is kind of where my husband's head had gone. So, oh, fuck, it's so icy. Um, so, yeah, I shared that on my Facebook so that my husband could hear it and maybe kind of bring his head back in a little bit from feeling so overwhelmed and crazy. Um, and I didn't put enough co uh, ice in my coffee, so it's really hot. I have extra scarves on today, so pardon my funny look, but it is really cold out there. Okay, here we go. So, um, yeah. So, he had said the other night that, um, cooking vegetables in the oven leaches all the uh, nutrients out of it. And I was like, no, that's boiling vegetables. So, I looked it up and boiling it's from the information that I gathered it sounds like um, boiling vegetables is the worst um, it will definitely leach nutrients out and then probably um, roasting them is the second worst uh, for leaching nutrients and then steaming is your best option um, I haven't I don't I think I have a, um, not utility, what's the word? I think I have a cooking instrument. <laughs> what am I trying to think of? I don't know, but I have like a couple of like three in one insta, insta pot type of things where I think I have a steaming option because it's got a basket that you can also use for frying foods. Um, and so you can use it for like frying. I think you can use it for steaming. And then you can um, use it as a crock pot or a rice cooker as well. So uh, I have two of those somehow. I have no idea where the second one came from. Um, but I have two of those. And so I think I could potentially steam vegetables. I just have never really practiced it much. So I... To me, thinking about steamed vegetables sounds kind of gross and bland. Um, holy crap, it's so icy and sliding around. Um, I'm slowing it down to 35. Because uh, every time I hit icy patches, I'm just kind of weaving side to side. Um, so, yeah, I can definitely play with that a little more and maybe... Um, find a way of seasoning it that I like it um, but my usual go to is roasting it in the oven but what I found out was um, when you roast and you use oil uh, it has to be at a specif like, specific amount of time um, because the oil past a certain point <clears throat> I forget what it's called I don't know if it was called a burn point, 
I think it was called a burn point. And past that burn point, those oils now turn into carcinogens. Um, so I think I have probably more than once um, caused my roasted vegetables to become carcinogens, uh, which is not cool. Uh, and defeats the purpose of eating really yummy stuff for you. So I need to kind of uh, get a little more fact about that so that I can do it correctly and not um, be causing more harm than good. Uh, yeah. And then, like I was saying, the raw vegetables, I don't know that he likes raw vegetables. I know with the right dip, uh, I love some, some raw broccoli and cauliflower. Not so much on the carrots. I will eat them cooked only because they're good for you, not because I like them. Um, I actually went many years without eating them because I dislike them. Um, but have since decided that the nutrients I get from them is more important than me liking them. Um, so I do, you know, I do eat them from time to time. Um, purely for the good vitamins and nutrients they hold. Woo-wee! Alright. So, I'm having trouble thinking, like, flowing thoughts because I'm also concentrating on not sliding off the road. Um, so that still leaves. I need to, um, find out how I'm going to make my coffee so that I can cut out creamer. Um, again, I have, I think I had said in the video yesterday, originally I was going to, like, slowly think about weaning off dairy. Um, and then I was listening to a podcast on the way home, uh, the night before and, uh, while listening to it, I was like, I, yeah, no, I think I'm good on dairy. I think, uh, I think that's done. Um, so, oh, I hate curves on ice, especially with cars coming at you. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Um, because I can't imagine drinking my coffee any other way without creamer, but I'm sure that uh, vegans and plant-based eaters, you know, I think they drink coffee. I hope they drink coffee. I don't even know. I really haven't had time to do a lot of research. Um, and the videos that the videos that generally come up in YouTube are about why you should be plant-based or vegan and um, not so much about what life is like plant-based or vegan and the ones that I have found that talk about that or talk about food um, stuff like what to eat not one of them so far has mentioned coffee huh but coffee is plant-based comes from a plant so it must be fine um, I just got to figure out how to uh, make it drinkable because I'm not drinking it black that's just not gonna happen uh, at least not yet. I have in the past drank it black on rare occasions, but uh, I have to have my coffee. It's the reason I get out of bed. Um, I would feel so empty and maybe I should put my four wheel drive back on. No, I'm almost there. I'll just go slow. Um, I would really feel like I was cheating myself and missing something if I tried to stop drinking coffee. Uh, tea just doesn't do it for me. It never has. I like tea in the evenings from time to time, but yeah, I'm not a regular tea drinker and probably never will be. But I have plenty of tea in my cupboard. Um, so yeah, those are most of my main thoughts on where we're at so far and uh, what the plan is so far. I haven't had a chance to discuss with him the uh, rotating grocery shopping. Um, as well as, you know, trying to get some recipes going. Uh, I think I could maybe get away with printing some recipes at work um, to share. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I share them, but printing some recipes at work or whatever. I don't know. I'll figure it out. You know, it's not... It's not... Well, for me, it's not life-threatening right now, but for him, it kind of is. So, I am going to... Maybe that's what I'll do tonight is 
I got the vegetables. I got them cut and prepared. They're ready to go whenever I am. So maybe tonight when I get home is when I'll sit down and try to come up with some stuff. Um, unfortunately, my usual habit is to just write a recipe down. Uh, but, oh, I know what I can do. I can just make a like a plant-based um, folder in my Pinterest. Even though I already have like four food folders. Um, but one was keto. So, uh, I'll just make a vegan plant-based folder and then I can just put recipes there off of Pinterest for easy access. And I don't have to print or write. Okay, so I'm going to let you all go as soon as I get past this icy patch. And, uh, once I hit the freeway, I need to put on my GPS so I know where I'm going this morning. Um, oh, God. I wonder if other people are as scared on these roads as I am. I'm guessing some of them are at least. Um, but yeah, like I squeeze the, like literally white knuckle on the steering wheel where I have to remind myself from time to time to loosen up my fingers and wiggle them. Uh, so yeah, as soon as I get past this icy patch, I will let y'all go. I hope everybody's got some plans for uh, Valentine's Day. Uh, I'm not real big on holidays, let alone ones that talk about silly stuff. Um, and to me, it has become a silly holiday. Uh, when I look at the Valentine's options on the shelves, it just kind of like makes me shake my head because it's all so, I don't know, so, well, it's consumer oriented, number one. And number two, it's just like, if you've got little kids, okay, I can see it. Um, definitely, but for adults, I'm, I'm just not, I don't, I don't get it. Maybe that's just me. All right. I, uh, it's one icy patch after another. I thought I was good, but now there's another icy patch. Um, uh, yeah, so, uh -huh. all right, I'm gonna let you go. Everybody have a good week. Everybody stay kind. Talk to y'all later.